I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. I'm here with Brian. Brian, how are you, Lou? Good to see you. I'm going to jump behind the camera as I usually do. Brian, give us just a couple of seconds on where we're at and a little little tip, uh, promotion for yourself. We're in Island Lake, Illinois at Custom Classic Automobiles. We do uh, complete frame-up restorations here, anything from little nicks and scratches on your collector car to complete full-off one, one-off builds. And I'll put the information on the video so people if they want to see the details can see it but this is actually walking through your shop uh, not a car that usually catches people's attention but this is the first year cutlass you are sharing and <laughs> it's actually if I can say this as, as genuinely lovingly as I can it is so wonderfully dull that <clears throat> it actually kind of catches your attention um, look at just the very basics of your first Oldsmobile Cutlass. Sorry, I ran the camera a little fast there. And Brian, you've got a story with this car. This car was going to be scrapped. Why was that? Um, kind of walk and talk with me. It's um, cars out of Pennsylvania, and uh, believed to be a one-owner car. It I don't know how it happened, but somehow it had a rock or boulder or something thrown through the windshield they couldn't find a windshield for the car and um, so from there it was to be a totaled or destroyed and um, unfortunately I was up late one night and saw the thing online and grabbed it through Copart which is an insurance salvage company <laughs> so a busted windshield and they were going to total it Yep. that's the problem with it it was a hard windshield to find. And although a hard windshield to find, our little sixty-two Oldsmobile is all here. And <laughs> there the baby fins is right there and this is one of those little wonderful car stories because it's pretty simple here there's not a ton on this interior I'm gonna use the other door only because this, I'm right against another car but you could see a little emblem down there is about as dramatic as it gets and the 60s were really a time that were known for their very extravagant interiors and this just isn't and I actually kind of delight in the simplicity of this uniquely designed interior and let's take a look at it does have a wonderful little mount on the horn right there the interior is all original other than the carpeting so the carpeting has an upgrade We'll and it got painted, but uh, we didn't touch any of the trim, the chrome. And it's very simple. Let's take a look under the hood. <clears throat> I like the, f I love the fact that it's a two door as well. And there you go. It can't be much more bare bones and your guys Brian have done a wonderful job with it and it really just from the my car story stamp standpoint caught my attention uniquely enough on this one that's a little baby all aluminum V8 wow aluminum heads aluminum block hmm. beautiful let's shut that hood and stand next to your car <clears throat> Brian <laughs> Thanks for grabbing it. It's Thanks. the ugly little holes, but it, you gotta love it. It is. <laughs> Thanks for being on my car story.